Hi there and welcome back to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie. I thought for today's video, I bought um, two tea related items when I went downtown uh, shopping on Michigan Avenue over the weekend. Sorry, my little one hit the tripod. But I thought I'd show you the tea items that I got and then also some non-related tea items so you can kind of if you're just here for the tea, cut off at the end of the tea items and yeah, visit me next time. So the first item, which is the tea item, well, actually I had more than one. There's a couple tea items. So because I had some free drink rewards on my Starbucks account, and when you have a free drink reward, you can trade that in for tea. And it's just a better... Um, better deal to do it that way than to get a, a drink, I think. So um, the first thing I got was, oh, actually I realized there's a David's Tea thing in here too, so I'll have to do it in this video. Um, I got an ounce of the Rev Up Tea, the wellness tea. That's what it looks like. It is uh, a flavored black oolong and green tea. Um, so it's brightened with tropical fruit notes. They were sampling it in store and actually liked it. Let's just talk a minute though. What the heck is going on with this packaging? They got these clips where they put the label on. And uh, I just, Sorry, my little one's got a fire truck there. I don't understand what's going on with this. I am not a fan of whatever they're doing here. I think it's maybe trying to be like modern. I don't like it. But anyway, so I got an ounce of that. And I had two more drink rewards too. So I got two ounces of the Limeade Twist. Again, the weird clip with the label. I don't know what's going on. Oh, I guess on the back of the label it has directions too, but so I got uh, two ounces of that. Just the whole feel when I go into the store, I don't like whatever they've done uh, with Tivana. I, I just I, I don't I don't like what's going on. Okay, so then the um, yeah. the David's tea thing that was stuck in there for some reason. I got four almost four ounces of the cocoa colada. I bought all of the rest of it that they had left. And then I got a tin, which I think I had it still around here. Oh, I've got a tin full of it too. So I ended up getting six ounces of cocoa colada total. Okay, moving on to um, the other tea items that I picked up. When I was in Macy's before Christmas, this is a Macy's and Water Tower. At the bottom ground level, they have a little Macy's. It's like a snack shop. They have a chocolate and you can get drinks and snacks. But they have tea for taste stuff. And so they had this all marked down. I um, picked up the Tea Forte Winter Chai. This is actually really nice. I have some of this, like little sample packs of it, and it's really good. Originally, it was $13.95, and I got this for $4.00. And then I picked up, I love their Kati, um, I always say Kati, Kati, I don't know. Uh, but I like their brewing systems, and this was one from Christmas, and this was $6. So I got the tea and this both for $10. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. But uh, yeah, I just, it comes with the lid, the cup, and then a little, really nice infuser basket, so. Okay, so that's the end of the tea items. So if you're here for the tea, just cut out and, um, but the next items, I went into Lush. The Macy's there, they're actually building a full Lush store right there on Michigan Avenue, but for now, the Lush is in Macy's. So when you're walking on the ground level, oh, it smells so nice, it smells like Lush. And even this bag here, if I had smell a vision you guys would be like, because oh, it smells so nice. But I picked up a catalog from Lush, and I love Lush. I've got like a big glass container uh, on my bathtub, and I've got it full of the Lush balls. But today, or for this trip rather, 
They had this soap 50% off. It's glue. It's a lemon rose scent. So I picked up three of these. I got one bath ball. Let's see if I can show you here. Isn't that so pretty? The smell is almost a borderline mint, but it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love that. Then I picked up the rest of our bubble bars. And the silver one. Ugh. My fingers are all huh, silver now. Uh, what is this one? Oh yeah, this one was really cute. A little flower. Like, it, you're supposed to just break off some of that, throw it in your water, and it gets it all bubbly with some really pretty colored bubbles. This is like a, oh, it's like a I don't know if it's supposed to be like a champagne bottle one. I think I got two of those. Or maybe not. Maybe I just got one, I guess. And then this one here. Also some pretty sparklies. And the last thing is actually my son. He, my oldest, he picked it out. It's a little robot. I think it's a bath, bath fizzy or something. So that's what I got from Wash. Oh my gosh. If you guys could smell this. Oh, it smells so nice. So... Yeah, the soaps were all 50% off. Um, and the bath. I, I find Lush is, I like Lush, and I order, usually order after Christmas when they have their buy one, get one specials. I didn't end up having a chance to order this year. Sorry, my little one keeps moving this. So I just went into the store and picked up a few things. But Lush is, uh, it's expensive. I love Lush, but I think they are a little bit overpriced. Especially when I go into um, Whole Foods and they have ball bath balls, and they're really nice too, which I actually did buy some. Um, but I first found Lush in um, an Aspen. They're, they used to have a Lush store years ago, uh, and that's where I would stock up on my Lush every summer when I went out there. And then they closed it, so it was nice that they opened the one in um in Chicago. So, okay. So after I left Lush, I was walking around Macy's, looking around, and they have this whole watch area where they have watches and then they have Apple watches, Fitbits, all this different stuff. And my Fitbit, I had just like the, the basic one and it stopped working right before Christmas. So I decided to just get a new one. So I picked up the Fitbit Blaze so it's got all this, you know, techie stuff going on with it. So I'm going to get that set up. Just thought it would be fun. I did order a different band for it from Amazon and then a screen protector for it too. So I'm kind of waiting for the screen protector to get here before I get it set up. But with Prime, it'll be here tomorrow, I think. Okay, so then what else did I go? There is... A Sephora and water tower, and then they built a big Sephora right down, a couple blocks down, too. So I went into the one in water tower, and I just picked up two items from Burberry. Um, Burberry Full Kisses Lip Color. It's in the color English Rose. This looked interesting because it said it kind of stays on for a while. That's what the color is. Um, I tend to gravitate towards those neutral mauve type of tones. And then I got an eye color called Nude. It just looked like it was a really pretty uh, taupey brown type of color. So I'll be interested to see how that performs. I'm hoping I'm not disappointed. Okay, now, so I walked down to Nordstrom. Looked around, I didn't find anything there. Well, I, I got these earrings here, so I did get some earrings. But then, um, so I didn't find anything else, so I walked out and then went to the Mac store. Got two things there. They re-released the Selena collection, so I did pick up a lipstick in Amour Prohibido. It's um, kind of like a neutral, 
neutral toned pinky peach color. And then I also picked up, I wasn't gonna, I was surprised I was interested in this. It's from Caitlyn Jenner, regardless of what your thoughts are one way or the other, I'm not here to um, make a, a statement one way or the other. I literally, I bought it because I like the color. That's it. So I'm not saying a statement one way or the other about, you know, that. Um, just that I like the color. And the packaging was kind of fun. But this is just a neutral um, pink tone, too. And I, I love MAC lipsticks. I, I usually like to buy a lipstick out of each collection because I, I have, I pretty much have every special edition collection lipstick like not the, every lipstick, but one lipstick from each special collection, all the way back from the Liberty of, no, actually it was even before that, it was um, Hello Kitty, I think. So I've got, I just always like to do the packaging. And then, getting to the end here. I went into Athleta to look around. They have a really cute Athleta on Oak Street. We were going to Luminati's for dinner love their pizza when I'm in town. Um, but I got this really cute sweater. It is so comfy, just gorgeous. And I mean, Athleta is also one of those things where, okay, so I used to buy everything Lululemon. I have a, a pretty extensive catalog of Lululemon things. But then I didn't really, care for when I think the na guy's name is Chip Owen maybe the CEO of Lululemon at the time he was saying you know the products don't really work for everybody's body type and you know this kind of happened right when I was I think I was pregnant at the time with my two-year-old and you know it's just it struck me wrong and I'm like you know I just don't care for that so I have a lot of Lulu Lululemon stuff but I stopped buying it. I just, I don't buy Lululemon anymore. Athleta, I think they have some really cute stuff. A lot of it is maybe copycat Lululemon, like the look of it. Price-wise, they're, they're like the same price. Athleta is not really that cheap, but um, I do like their stuff. So anyway, but I found this sweater. I just thought it looked so comfortable and it was um, on markdown, not a lot, but, um, but yeah, so that's, oh, and then the last thing I got, so I went to Whole Foods to do grocery shopping on the way home. And I bought some of these the last time I was at Whole Foods and loved them, so I got more. There are these little, they're bath bombs, kind of like Lush, but this one is in the shape of a, a dinosaur. I thought that was so cute. So I picked up two of those, and I picked up two of these star ones. And they've got some glitter on them. So anyway, that is everything that I got when I was downtown. We did just a little bit of shopping. But I um, hope you've enjoyed watching that. Uh, I like to try to keep the videos on this channel just tea related. But since I had a few tea things, I thought I would do everything and then, you know, just put that at the beginning. If you have any questions, leave those below. And I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.